Hello all, welcome back to the course Basic Signal Processing 21 EC33. I am Dr. Ravichandra Kulkarni and let us continue from the point where we stopped in the last class. That is, we stopped at solving uh, using pro Eclion form, solving for uh, uh, particular solution and special solution. So the next concept in the course is uh, linear dependence and independence of vectors. So given a set of vectors v1, v2, v3 up to vn, if their combinations that is x1, v1 plus x2, v2 plus x3, v3 so on uh, till xn, vn is equal to 0 uh, occurs only with all weights xi is equal to 0 then the vectors are independent that is xi is equal to 0 is the only way to produce x1, v1 plus x2, v2 plus x3, v3 so on that is plus xn vn is equal to 0. So what is the uh, procedure to identify if the given set of vectors are independent or not? That is first step is to put all vectors in the columns of A that is in the form of columns then solve for Eclion form or rho reduce Eclion form which we just did in the previous video and the vectors are dependent if there is a solution for x other than x is equal to 0 that is if the rank of a is less than n that is number of columns of a uh, at least one free variable can be non-zero and the columns are dependent on each other whereas if rank of a is n then there is no null space for the given uh, equation of the matrix that is ax equal to 0 except for x is equal to 0 then we call that the vectors are independent hope uh, this gives some idea uh, to the viewers on what is dependence and independence and how it can be found out so let us uh, go ahead and uh, work out or go through a uh, worked out problem and understand how linear dependence and independence works so now in this example problem solved uh, we have a matrix a which is row wise 1 3 3 2 2 6 9 7 minus 1 minus 3 3 4 and if the viewers have been keeping track of the earlier videos this matrix is one of the matrix which we used earlier uh, so that uh, the viewers are uh, aware or doesn't look like a new matrix altogether so here we are doing two row operations that is r2 dash is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 dash is equal to r3 plus r1 which results in a matrix 1 3 3 2 0 0 3 3 and 0 0 6 6 so uh, let me just verify that r2 uh, minus 2 r1 uh, r2 dash is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 that is 9 minus 6 that is 3 and uh, 7 minus 4 that is 3 so here we uh, have verified this and uh, r3 plus r1 minus 1 1 0 minus 3 3 0 3 plus 3 6 and 4 plus 2 6 so this is also verified so r3 dash if we go on with uh, row operations uh, further that is r3 minus 2 r2 that gives us 1 3 3 2 0 0 3 3 and 0 0 0 0 here we see that the rank of the matrix is equal to 2 which is less than number of uh, vectors given uh, so hence we can straight away uh, declare that the given vectors are uh, or all the columns are not independent right so here uh, if we have to check with respect to the linear combinations that is ax equal to 0 or ux equal to 0 then we see that x1 plus 3x2 plus 3x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 0 3x3 plus 3x4 is equal to 0 uh, and 0 equal to 0 that is x4 is 0 but uh, however x3 is equal to minus x4 uh, comes from this particular 3x3 plus 3x4 equal to 0 equation and we see that x3 is dependent on x4 so one of the solution x4 is equal to 0 definitely this equation or this system is satisfied uh, but however if we take x4 is equal to 2 uh, minus 2 uh, x3 is also equal to minus 2 uh, then also the equation is satisfied right so uh, it finally has uh, many solutions or uh, we can in a way say that x3 is dependent on x4 hence we say that the vectors are 
dependent so all the column vectors here are not independent so uh, conditionally the pivot elements the column vectors where we have pivot elements that is if we declare uh, x3 as a free variable then x1 and x3 this uh, column vector 1 and column vector 3 would be independent and uh, other uh, columns would be dependent so that is another way of deducing uh, dependency and independency however here we can uh, conclude that the column vectors here are not independent or they are dependent now moving further if we take another example uh, which is solved here uh, for us to go through so a is equal to 1 2 3 3 1 2 and 2 3 1 row wise and we do two or row operations again the first step that is r2 dash is equal to r2 minus 3 r1 and r3 dash is equal to r3 minus 2 r1 uh, i would request the viewers to just check the row operations done here as we did in the previous uh, example and see if we get a matrix 1 2 3 0 minus 5 minus 7 0 minus 1 minus 5 so and then we do another row operation that is r3 dash is equal to 5 r3 minus r2 and it results in a matrix 1 2 3 0 minus 5 minus 7 0 0 minus 18 by uh, observing this we can conclude that this cannot be reduced further and has uh, three non-zero rows and it makes it its rank three that is equal to the number of columns of the uh, matrix and hence we say that the column vectors are independent now if we examine ux equal to zero uh, we see that x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to zero minus 5x2 minus 7x3 is equal to zero and minus 18 x3 is equal to 0 and this particular equation can be satisfied only if x3 is equal to 0 and if x3 is equal to 0 by back substitution we see that x2 is also equal to 0 and x1 is also equal to 0 hence the column vectors are linearly independent that is ux equal to 0 occurs only when x1 equal to x2 equal to x3 equal to 0 independently so hence we can conclude that the vectors column vectors of matrix a are linearly independent so moving further uh, if we have to check another uh, example uh, a is equal to 1 2 minus 3 and uh, minus 3 1 2 so and uh, 2 minus 3 1 row wise and we do two row operations again r2 dash is equal to r2 plus 3 r1 and r3 dash is equal to r3 minus 2 r1 which results in the matrix 1 2 minus 3 0 7 minus 7 and 0 minus 7 7 and again we do one more uh, row operation r3 dash is equal to r3 plus r2 which gives us one of the rows to be equal to 0 and hence the rank is equal to number of non-zero rows in the echelon form that is equal to 2 and it is less than the number of column vectors given here and hence we can say that the column vectors are linearly dependent but however I would uh, request the viewers to try ux equal to 0 method and develop their argument for the vectors column vectors being dependent right so uh, and I, I also have a small exercise for the viewers uh, to show that the columns in R2 that is 1 1 2 3 and 1 2 are or cannot be independent for the given uh, matrix A so 2 cross 3 so here straight away with uh, hint is the rank so I would request the viewers to uh, solve it and uh, develop their arguments to show that columns in R2 uh, of A are uh, dependent or cannot be independent. Uh, thank you. We will come back with uh, more uh, concepts and uh, problems in this particular subject. Uh, I request viewers to keep viewing and uh, come back with their comments. So the videos are being kept intentionally short so that uh, only the difficult concepts can be viewed without having to go through or scroll through the entire uh, video. Thank you. Uh, happy watching and happy learning. Thanks.